and were asked to determine the indefinite integral, the directions could also state to determine the antiderivative. Here we are given the indefinite integral of two secant theta times the sum of four secant theta and three tangent theta d theta. In this example, we will be skipping some of the steps shown in the previous example, which is much more common in practice. To begin, because we have a product, we will distribute the two secant theta in the integrand function, which means the given integral is equal to the integral of two secant theta times four secant theta is equal to eight secant squared theta, and then we have plus two secant theta times three tangent theta is equal to six secant theta tangent theta, and we still have d theta. And now we'll integrate each term rather than writing this as a sum of two integrals. Looking at the integrand function and the formulas, we'll be using the integration formula for secant squared as well as the integration formula for secant times tangent. The integral or antiderivative of eight secant squared theta is equal to eight times tangent theta plus c, but again, we'll leave the plus c off until the very end. So we have eight tangent theta, and then plus the indefinite integral or antiderivative of six secant theta tangent theta is equal to six times secant theta plus c giving us six secant theta, and now we will include the constant of integration plus c. So this is the indefinite integral or antiderivative, meaning this is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function. And we often identify the antiderivative using the capital letter F, which means we can say the antiderivative is big F of x is equal to eight tangent theta plus six secant theta plus c, which means if we differentiate big F of x, we should get little f of x, the integrand function. And let's go ahead and check this. The derivative of big F of x is equal to eight times the derivative of tangent theta, which gives us eight secant squared theta plus six times the derivative of secant theta, and the derivative of secant theta is equal to secant theta tangent theta, giving us six secant theta tangent theta, and the derivative of any constant is equal to zero, and notice how big F prime of x is equal to the given integrand function after we distribute it to secant theta. So because big F prime of x equals little f of x, we know our work determining the indefinite integral or the antiderivative is correct. I hope you found this helpful.